Well guys, today's events and activities have been canceled due to inclement weather. <laughs> What's up guys? Welcome back to Smelly Valley TV. Ada got her dream animals, the ferrets. And we have names for them, by the way, which I think we'll reveal in this video, right? Uh -huh. We're gonna reveal their names. We got a lot going on today. We're gonna pick up two leashes. We're also going to teach the ferrets how to swim today. The leashes are for the ferrets, by the way, so they will be swimming. If you love ferrets, hit the thumbs up. This is going to be a video all about ferrets. So today's gonna be the first day where we um, walk your ferrets. How do you think they're gonna do? I don't know. You I don't know? Idea. Ada, come here. Do you think we need to get the ferrets their own life jackets? <laughs> that would be way too big. <laughs> yeah, it would be. We're thinking that the ferrets are mainly gonna like cat type toys. We're gonna get cat toys. So Ada and I have found the ferret section and um, they have a vest with a leash. They have two different sizes. I would think better. this is the right size for them. Uh, so we're gonna get these. You know that ferrets love shiny things, right? Huh? If they had a chance to take the little pendulum off my necklace, they it's would do it. It has a little shiny bone. That will work, that will work. This is the shiniest thing we could find so far. You know, it's got a little, it's got a little, uh, Castle, shiny. Yeah, it's, it's very shiny. All right, we made it back from the pet store and um, we're gonna show you guys everything that we got. We have a ton of new things for Yeti and Bear. That's their names. We're gonna- uh, Yeti's the white one, the albino one, and Bear's the dark one. Yep, and so we're gonna bring them down and we're gonna test all of this stuff out. Enzo already tried this little contraption out. Enzo, you wanna try it? You wanna try it? Oh, look at Enzo's interested in cat toys. <laughs> Ada also got them a travel carrier and some new bedding for their home. All right, go get Yeti and Bear. Okay, here they are. They just woke up from their nap and this one is Yeti and that's Bear. <laughs> They're just a little slow right now because they just woke up from their naps. Okay, we got their whole pin all set up. They've been climbing in and out of the <clears throat> tunnels and um, I think they like it. They pretty much like it, but I think they want to get out more. One of the things that we learned pretty quickly about ferrets is that they love to dig holes. They literally started digging a hole and trying to get underneath the foundation of our house. We just have to be really careful about that because uh, we don't want to lose a ferret underneath the house. is that Jesse calls me and Jayla extra when we go to the pet store for her rats. Um, if you want to see all those videos, make sure you go to Jayla's channel. She's been posting about her pet rats. She has two now. Start off with one. It's been a whole story, so just go catch up on that if you haven't. They're treating these ferrets like they're literal human kids, toddlers. All the ferrets are trying to do is escape anyways. We spent $200. You guys spent $600. No, we didn't. You didn't? No. You didn't? No. no. No, I thought that cage alone was 200. Do you think I would spend $600 on rats? Yes. Yes, I would. They're right. Well, I don't know why Tara's doing this. I don't understand why she's making this a uh, me and Ada against her and Jayla. I was just saying that you always say we're extra when we go to the store and you're not that far off. You're not that far from behind <laughs> no, us. I'm so not. it's kind of been a fail. Uh, with all the toys, they don't they're not interested in any of it. So we were like, okay, we've heard that they love shiny things So we did a tinfoil ball still not interested. They haven't touched it. The only thing that they're interested in is um, escaping Escaping and digging <laughs> holes. Uh, so I'm going to try my silver necklace Wait, did you show them the giant hole that they dug under our house? Literally the ferret dug a hole and was under like the foundation of our house, so we had to shove a bunch of things in the hole so they wouldn't keep digging there. We do like to let them roam free like all around the lanai because it's so big and they get a lot of playtime out, which in turn means they sleep a lot. So they're napping a lot, but then they're also playing a lot. But this playpen is a nice little like temporary thing when you can't have your eyes on them at all times. You can just throw them in there real quick and let them run around. They kind of go back and forth between like trying to escape, playing with the toys, laying down. That's their, that's what they're doing, see? He just wants the camera, watch it. 
Say hi. He's gonna oh, try to grab the camera. Silver ring around the camera. Probably. Look at this. He wants the camera. <laughs> Come on, buddy. Say hi to the Bellians. Yeah, they like you. See if he likes the silver chain. I don't really. Oh, he's going for it. I don't think he's interested. I don't think he really cares all that much. I really don't. Bear, where do you go? Bear, do you want to say hi to the Bellians? Come say hi to the Smelly Bellians. Come on. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> ferrets are definitely not camera shy. They were meant to be YouTuber ferrets, and I'm pretty proud of that. I'm pretty sure we don't have regular ferrets. Our ferrets are broken, just like They're our broken. ducks. Our ducks are broken, remember? The, what was broken the about the ducks? The ducks don't like the water. They don't like the fish. The ducks don't like the water. And the water. Yeah, and these guys don't like silver or shiny things. Look, they don't. Look, they bear is not interested. Wait, wait, wait. Uh -oh. Oh, no. oh, wait. He no. Bear, do you like it? No. He yeti, doesn't. do you like it? They'll just like get me out of this <laughs> cage. The only thing that Yeti likes is digging holes, being free. And he likes and, the pool. Yeah, and the pool. And he loves treats. His favorite ones are the bacon treats, the turkey treats, and the banana treats. You need to figure this out, dude. I think Yeti's way smarter than you, and uh, you need to take some lessons from him, okay? Yeah, you do. See what I'm talking about when we take them swimming. Um, Yeti's kind of like a pro. He kind of got it right away, but Bear struggles a little Bear's bit. Bear's a little slower, so Yeti's He's a little kinda, slower. <laughs> Yeti's kind of like Diesel, our dog Diesel. Yeah, And um, Bear's like Enzo. Bear's kind of like Enzo. Like he, He's a little bit slower to things. A little bit slower, but that's okay. We still love him. You know exactly where he's gonna go. Where's he going? He's gonna go find the hole and start digging again. Where does he think he's going? Is he going to get a drink? Possibly. I think he's going to get a drink. I think he's thirsty. Are you thirsty? Hmm? Yeti escaped. He climbed out. He did? Yes. Yeah, he's right over here, look. <laughs> he definitely escaped. <laughs> okay, so Jayla's gonna go get her rats because we heard that ferrets and rats are supposed to like each other. So let's try it out. <laughs> Go say hi to the ferrets. Go in the little cave. <laughs> so fun fact, Enzo and Mr. Rat do not get along. Enzo, do not yeah. get along. Oh, and then that one is Shawty. We got Shawty and Mr. Rat. There we go. <laughs> middle names for the rat, for the, a, for the ferrets? We have official middle names for the ferrets. It's, Why? It's Yeti Spaghetti. Okay. And Bear Don't Care. Bear Don't Care. <laughs> all right, let's see what they think about the rats. Oh, oh we just went all in, huh? Okay. Oh, they're interested in each other. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh that's poop in there. Yeah, they oh. poop. Did they poop in there? No, they didn't. That's something else. It's just like the little tabby things that hold it together. Look at that. Is that shoddy? Yeah. Look at shoddy and bear. No, bear's kind of freaking out. Yeah, he's freaking out a little bit. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. I don't know. These rats look a little nervous. <laughs> what do we do? Oh, no. What if they start to fight each other? I don't think they're going to. You don't I'll, think I'll so? break it up if they do, though. You're going to put your hand in there? Yep, all those teeth? I, it's a lot of teeth in there. These hands were made for biting. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so it looks like Mr. Rat, uh, Bear. Uh-uh, oh, he's, uh, biting. Uh, he's, uh, biting. Uh, he's biting. Yeah, he's biting. Yeah, he's biting. He's yeah, biting. Yeah, get him out. Yeah, get him out. Yeah, get him out. Yeah, get him out. Yeah. Not good. <laughs> Not good. Okay, I, I don't think. Yeti. I don't know what Yeti's doing in there, but he's got a rat cornered. All right, uh, I guess these... They, they, really they might have been just trying to play. I think so. Maybe we should have just tried like one at a time, one yeah. of each at a time, instead of like just throwing them all in, you know, Jayla? Yeah. I didn't think you were gonna do that. <laughs> and the rats are just back in the little hole because I think they're scared now. Well, now Yeti wants to go in. I mean, yeah, Yeti. Look at him. Yeti, you, you have a little talk naughty. with these ferrets. Listen, Yeti, listen. You treat your brothers and sisters nicely, okay? You be nice to the rats. Yeti, I have a feeling they're meeting from outside of the gate. Let's see what's going to happen. <laughs> like sharks. Uh, I think the rats are peeing in that. Thing. Oh no 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 no! Oh. Let's get them out. Let's get them out. Just... Trying to attack them. Mr. Rat is not nice. He's not nice with he's other animals. He's only nice to Shoddy. Yeah, he's only nice to other rats, but he does not like other animals. Rat rescue mission accomplished. The rats have been saved. And the guy at PetSmart where we bought the rats. What did he say, Jayla? He's like, rats don't like anything but rats. No, he said his ferrets and rats get along, but he had the hairless rats. He said that makes all the difference. I don't know why. It says they're cuddly. 
They're cuddly and snuggly. All right, so it's time to get these ferrets into the pool. Um, they're gonna go for their swim, and uh, we know, we looked it up, guys, that ferrets can swim, and we already know this because Yeti had already jumped into the pool and we saw him swim, so he just jumped right in himself. Um, so we have a feeling they kind of actually like swimming. It is now time for the first ever and probably only ever semi-annual ferret swim race. Let me introduce the opponents, or contestants, whatever. Here we have Yeti. He is an albino ferret, approximately one and a half years old, and we don't know his weight. Here we have Bear. He is what I would call a raccoon-looking ferret, also one and a half years old, and I was gonna say his weight is about expert. One and a half pounds. Okay. Activities have been delayed due to rain. Prepare for this short commercial break. Hi, I'm Belly, and I'm the rat ferret guy. Have your ferrets and rats been fighting? Are you getting sick of them fighting? Yes! Do you want your rats and your ferrets to live in harmony? Yeah! Do your undies ever get in a bunch? Yeah! I introduce to you the Ferret Rat Separator 2000. This is our latest model. Enhanced technology with our gate closing action. Your ferrets are gonna love the Gate Master 2000 because it's incredible. Let's face it, you need this. Yeti has officially become a menace. He literally drags the cage back. Watch this, guys, he's gonna do it again. Look at this. He is a menace. Well, guys, today's event set activities have been canceled due to inclement weather. Yep. We checked the radar, it's gonna be storming. But we do wanna show you how cute it is when our ferrets swim, so we will do a whole video about that. Um, maybe we'll do like, tricks in the pool and make it fun but yeah we couldn't we couldn't do it yeah. sorry well it was kind of unfortunate that we weren't able to show you guys the uh, ferrets swimming but guess what we're gonna have I, I have an idea well I gotta make sure it's okay with everybody I think we should do a pool party with all of our animals yes all with of like them. the rats and the, the chickens, chickens the, ducks, the, the dogs the, the ducks the snake bearded uh, dragon I don't know if we could do. I don't know if we could do Monty Scales, but um, Murray I likes the pool. Murray can come. Um, I think Monty Scales is the only one that's not gonna be able to come. Pretty yeah, because there'll be rats around. Oh yeah. So snakes and rats. Yeah, don't snakes go well and rats. Together. They don't really. <laughs> what about the ferrets? Snakes and ferrets. I don't know. Um, I think once the snake gets big. big, then it's probably not a good idea. But look at. Enzo gets along with the ferrets, and the ferrets like Enzo. But we learned today that our ferrets do not like rats, really. They look at them as kind of like a, a toy. They started kind of chewing on the ear a little bit, and so we were like, ah, we gotta get these rats out of here. Okay, so I'm gonna do a quick story time with uh, Jesse and Tara. So one of the things that we always do, are you guys ready for the story? Hit the thumbs up if you're ready I have no idea story. what he's about to say, so. So it's just kind of funny because we've had Enzo and Diesel for so long. And every time we buy a new animal, we come home and Enzo and Diesel just like look at us like. Another one. Another one, you guys. Another one. Another one. And then Diesel gets super jealous. Yes, he does. He and always feels like he's being replaced. And then Enzo, what he does is he just attaches to Jayla because he knows she'll always give him attention and love. Yeah, that's <laughs> true. And then like he'll get, he'll get kind of nervous, so he'll start licking my leg when we have a new animal that comes around. Oh yeah, he's sniffing the ferret right now. Yep, he's giving him a sniff. <gasps> and you know we would never get rid of you. You are the best little doggy ever. I love you so much, you little scruff. Oh, you're such a scruff. If you guys want Ada to do like a, um, like a room decor for her ferrets on her channel, let her know. Let her know in the comments. She, post? um, she hasn't um, posted in a long yeah. time. Uh, <laughs> But anyways, uh, she got these bowls, and they're so cute. They're really, really cute. They're for the ferrets. So look at. She got a bunch of stuff to decorate her cage today. It's got paw prints. It's got paw prints, you guys. It's got paw. It prints. matches with everything. The hammock. It matches with, the, with everything. Like everything. Look at. She could be like a salesperson at a pet store. <laughs> like, listen, you're gonna buy this because it matches with this. You should be an interior designer for pet rooms. Every time, every time I'm talking to someone and I'm talking about something, everyone's like, you should be in sales. Because I'm like, good at convincing people that everything's just amazing. Well, that's what I did for a living before we did YouTube. I was in sales, so maybe Ada gets that side from me. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Maybe. You 
guys, look at this. Enzo is so interested. Interested in these ferrets. He's yeah. your best friend. Yeah, he's like, come on, man, I want to play, I want to play. Look, look, I won't play. Look at him. Aww. He's trying to get in there with them. <laughs> oh, maybe he wants to play with that cat toy. Oh, look at him. He's getting super excited. He's like, yo, Yeti, come on, let's play. Let's play, Yeti. Yeti's like, yo, man, I'm out of here. I can't stand this. Get me out of this cage. Get me out of this cage. And then there's Bear Don't Care. Come on, Yeti, you want to play with it? Come on, Yeti. Come on, Yeti. Yeti, come on. Get it, Yeti. Come on, Bear. Come on, Bear. See, Bear Don't Care. Enzo, come on. You want to play with it? You want to play with the kitty toy? Enzo, you want to play with the kitty toy? You want to play with the kitty toy, buddy? Oh, Enzo, come and play with the kitty toy. Yeti, we've got a situation here. Oh, we've got a situation. Got ah, oh my gosh. Separate. Yeti, what are you doing? Separate. Birds are starting to get tired out. Um, we're going to take them upstairs and show you guys where they live and sleep because you haven't even seen that yet. Ferret number one and, and ferret, ferret number, number two. two. Let's just go. Put them on your shoulders like this. <laughs> bear, come on. Come on, Bear. Oh, jeez. Bear this could like, be a bad I idea. <laughs> no, it's fine. Bear, but Bear just like does not hang on at all. Oh my goodness. Bear, you have Bear, to hold on, on, dude. Like, help us out. <laughs> and he's getting into the treats. <laughs> Get out of there. <laughs> um, so this is their cage where they live. They have a little hammock. They each have their own bed in there. And Ada has trained them to go on puppy pads. So it's been working out pretty good. We don't have to have like all that fluffy bedding and litter everywhere. So that works out. Have their little hide here that we put in there. And then food bowls, and this is where all the food stuff is stored, right on top. And then, don't you have to cover them at night? Yeah, that's why this blanket's there. Because why? <laughs> because they'll go crazy. They won't just, they'll just... Sometimes they shake the cage, they'll be like... <laughs> Bear, you're gonna have some lunch? Come eat, come eat, dude. Where are you I going? Betty, you know you're not supposed to be out on the carpet. You know the rules. And then Ada puts this like extra supplement stuff on top of their food to keep their coats nice and healthy and shiny. Time for naps. Where are they going? Oh, straight for the food and the water. They're already ruined. And they got a yep. new bed. They got new beds, yep. Betty, it's nap time, dude. Yeti. Go to Supposed sleep. To no, napping. don't let him out. You're spoiling him and you're not training him right. Put him back in there, it's nap time. They've been having lots of playtime already. Yeah, but they're so cute. Thinks like his food and water are out here because uh, Ada replaced the bowls. So he's trying to get stuff out of the old bowls. <laughs> and he's like, man, you left my hide outside. I need this in my home. It's time for them to take a nap. <laughs> Why the food's not in there anymore? <laughs> time for night nights. Go in there. There we go. Easy peasy. Full disclaimer. I love all animals and all that. I'm a big animal lover. Ferrets were the one animal that I did not want to have as a pet, though, because I heard they were really smelly. Well, turns out it's not that bad. I also heard they were super needy, and um, it's really not that hard as long as you have a spot where you can take them to play every day for like an hour or two. Like, it's really not that much. But, you know, I don't have to do it, so. I also gotta say I'm really proud of Ada because she has been taking care of these ferrets. I did not think that that was going to happen. Um, <laughs> But she, she's been taking care of it. And you know, the reason why I didn't trust it, you know, and this is for all the parents out there, usually when you get a dog, you know, you say, hey, all right, I'm getting you a dog. You're gonna take care of the dog. I don't know about your family, but in my family, it seems like they never take care of the dog. I think the but problem the is like, it wasn't a pet that they really truly wanted. It's more of what we yeah. want to as a pet. So like whenever you give them like, and a lot of parents don't want to get like exotic style things because you just aren't used to it. It just doesn't seem like the thing to do. But I've noticed if you give them what they truly, truly want, they take care of it. Yep. I, and, and I literally told you guys, I was like, I feel different about taking care of this animal rather than a dog because I feel like the responsibility. Yeah, because they're in your room Yeah. all the time. You know, you don't like, like, they're just hers. Uh, they're, they're hers. So we make everybody in the house kind of ask Ada, like, hey, do you care if I get the ferret out? You know, so because they're hers. It's her responsibility, she's and she's been doing a good job. With that being said, we're all going to say our favorite parts of the day, and I'm going to start with my favorite part of the day. It was definitely going shopping at the pet store with Ada and getting all the stuff for uh, for the ferrets. So your favorite, favorite part of the day? was probably redecorating their cage, putting the bowls in, and seeing them play. Yeah? 
What about Mine you? Mine was introducing them to the rats. Introducing them to the rats. <laughs> uh, so we're going to get back to saying our favorite parts of the day because it's just fun. A lot of you guys said you miss our favorite parts of the day. You feel like it gives you closure in the video. Yeah. And which is cool, you know? I mean, so we're going to do them again. Uh, plus, you guys have not seen Rory because guess what? Rory is now a gamer. All right. She's literally like a little teenager in here. <laughs> so <laughs> be prepared for what I'm about to show you, okay? <laughs> Basically, Rory asked if she could have her own room, and I said, well, you know, you've got two choices. You could go in, in the game room, which is the is what she chose. I, I gave her the option to do the guest room, too. But she wanted her own room, so she is in the game room. Well, this is her new decision. room. It has the biggest TV in the house. It has she the biggest TV. She gets the 75-inch TV. Because this is supposed to be our family movie room. <laughs> She's been obsessed with Minecraft and Fortnite. And, I mean, look at her. She hasn't come out of her room all day. And what time is it? Look at her. It's look at 5 o'clock. Look at this candy wrappers everywhere. It's 5 o'clock in the afternoon. <laughs> and you're being a Lazy Bones Jones. And she said that Diesel, it's she claimed that mess. Diesel made all this mess. No, I made the trash and he's making it like oh. all crummy. <laughs> he's making it all crummy. <laughs> so what we are going to do... Um, Jayla's favorite part of the day. Oh, we got to get Jayla's favorite part of the day. Also, too, I wanted to talk to you guys about um, the bedroom setup. Since uh, Rory is going to be, is it official she's going to be staying in here now? No, this was my Xbox. <laughs> well, this, this is, was this my is, this Ada, Ada needs to get an Xbox and a TV for her room. Right. Would you be happy then if yes. you get an Xbox and a TV for your room? Okay, then she's going to be happy. See, that's all you got to do for kids. Get them an because, Xbox and a TV and then they're I'm happy. just thinking about, like, whenever I'm on my bed chilling with my ferrets, I could have a TV watching my Gilmore Girls instead of trying to hold my phone because they, since, like, their faces are really hard, they can, it detects it as a finger, so they can pause it and, like, go on, they'll swipe on TikTok. <laughs> your ferrets do? Yes. Your phone? Yes. <laughs> their noses are detected as a finger. That's hilarious. Ada kind of lost me there for a minute, but then I, 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 it came back. Uh, but anyway, so what we're going to do is we're going to give you guys updated room tours in another video. We're pro I'm probably going to start working on their bedrooms here. Um, if you guys haven't seen Jayla's room, uh, she'll probably do that on her channel. She already did right? it. It's up. Up on oh, card. updated room. Because Jayla has been the only one that has had like a fully like decorated, de decorated room. Um, now Tara and I have had our room decorated, but Ada and Rory have not had their room decorated. So we're going to make that happen and you guys are going to get to see the tour. Right? Sound fun? Everyone agrees? All I want to do is get my dresser out of my room and get Rory bed out of my room since she's sleeping in here. And, um, and get yourself a TV and an Xbox. And an Xbox. That's all. Oh. Don't worry, mom and dad are gonna make it look good. All right, little lady, what was your favorite part of the day so far? Oh, the rats winning the ferrets. That was it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was pretty funny. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video, and remember, don't do drugs, give hugs, and eat chicken nuggets! <laughs>